Today we're going to demonstrate some of the 3D visualization tools that are available in the Coulomb software package from Integrated Engineering Software. We're going to use a simple model of mushroom electrodes. We have a red electrode at plus one volt and a blue electrode at minus one volt. And here we're just showing the streamlines that would pass between the two electrodes. Next thing we're going to show is visualization of the voltage using a scatter plot. So a scatter plot is useful for scalar quantities. You could use a vector plot, arrow plot for the, the E field, but for the voltage being a scalar, the scatter plot are colored spheres which indicate the values of the voltage. You can see I've scaled this between say 0.4 and minus 0.4 volts just to leave a little space around the electrodes. A scatter plot is very crude, though finer representation can be obtained using a contour plot. So here again I've scaled the contours of the voltage so that there's some space around the electrodes. Now if you think about it, the contour lines, they all connect points on this plane which are at the same potential. And we could extend this into three dimensions. If we plotted in space all the points are at the same potential, you wouldn't just have lines anymore, now you'd have surfaces. And those are what we call isosurfaces, which is also a very good way of visualizing the voltage, or you can visualize individual field components as well. So here I've done a isosurfaces plot of the voltage, and I've scaled it so that there's some space around the electrodes, and I've also plotted only on a half space so that you can see what's going on inside. Now the last thing I want to demonstrate our profile plots and I'm going to do this by first demonstrating a contour plot. So here I plotted the magnitude of the electric field on a plane which is some distance from the electrodes and you'll notice this is plotted on a plane which is parallel to the YZ plane. A profile plot will plot the magnitude values in the X direction. So to show you how that's going to look first I'm going to change the up axis from the Z axis to the X axis and then I'm going to open a model which has a profile plot. So you can still see the contours at the bottom, but now you can see a 3D sort of map or profile of the magnitude of the electric field. It's even more interesting to look at the different field components. For instance, the Y component, it shows it's a negative in the direction between the two electrodes. The Z component is very complex all kinds of variations are going on here. And finally, I'm going to show you the X component. So hopefully, you'll get an idea of how you can use some of the more advanced plotting features. Of course, you can still use arrow plots and graphs, but sometimes you can get a better idea and even make better presentations by using these advanced features.